Students, today we are going to start a new topic from economics that is sectors of Indian economy. Before going to start the topic, we should know what is sector. See in this definition. The definition of a sector is a separate or distinct area or part of something larger. The part of the economy controlled by technology companies is an example of the tech sector. Now we come to the classification of sectors of Indian economy. First we see on the basis of economic activity that is primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. Then come on the basis of organization that is unorganized and organized sector. Basis of ownership, private sector and public sector. First we see the classification of sectors of Indian economy on the basis of economic activity. First we should know what is economic activity. The activity concerned with production of goods and services and hence earning of income is known as economic activity. Economy is classified into three sectors on the basis of economic activity. First, primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. Now first we see the primary sector. It includes activities carried with the help of natural resources. Most of the natural products that we get are from agriculture. Therefore, this sector is known as agriculture and related sector. Importance of this sector is it provides raw materials to secondary sector in the absence of which production cannot take place. For example, agriculture, fishing, mining, forestry, etc. Now come to the secondary sector. The meaning of secondary sector is it includes activities which involve transformation of raw materials into finished goods. Generally, this transformation takes place in industry. Therefore, the sector is known as manufacturing sector or industrial sector. The importance of this sector is it converts raw material into finished goods. In its absence, the raw material will remain unutilized. For example, manufacturing industries like car making, cloth making, sugar making, etc. Now come to the tertiary sector. The meaning of tertiary sector is it includes activities which render services to the other two sectors. These activities don't produce goods but are a support for the production process. It is also called service sector as it generates services in the nation or in the society for the people. Importance. This sector is an important link between the other two sectors which would not develop in the absence of this sector. For example, transportation, banking, communication, teaching, etc. Now children, you can see the examples of primary sectors, secondary sectors and tertiary sector. You can easily find which activities come in primary, secondary and tertiary sector. Now interdependent of the three sectors. The three sectors are interrelated. One sector needs the help of another to carry out production. We can take example that cotton in the fashion industry. In primary sector, cotton is grown and picked on a cotton farm. Then in secondary sector, 
cotton is processed to make cloth which is in turn sewn into clothing the tertiary sector cotton clothes example jeans shirts etc are sold in shop so in the process many other services like banking transportation communication storage that is godowns etc are also needed how do we count various goods and services and know the total production of each sector the concept of final goods and intermediate goods final goods final goods refer to the finished goods which are sold in the market intermediate goods all those goods which are used by the producer for producing other goods are known as intermediate goods precautions to be taken while calculating the production of a sector the value of only the final goods is included and not the intermediate goods the value of final goods already include the value of intermediate goods if we also count the value of intermediate goods then it will lead to double counting that is counting the value of goods more than once we can take example you can see here farmer produces wheat in the land mass and he sells wheat at the rate of rupees 8 per kg it goes to flour mill where it grinds into flour and sells it at the rate of rupees 10 per kg then it goes to the biscuit company where manufacturing takes place then uses other ingredients and sells biscuit at the rate of rupees 15 per packet then it goes to consumer here only the value of biscuit at the rate of rupees 15 per packet will be counted as it already includes the value of wheat and flour now here we can see the gross domestic product that is known as gdp the value of goods and services produced in each sector in a particular year is calculated and added up the sum of the production of three sectors gives us the total production in a country is called as gross domestic product that is gdp it is the value of final goods and services produced within a country during a particular year is known as gdp that is known as gross domestic product so students today we discuss about the sectors of indian economy and its classification next class will take the other two parts which is very valuable that is organized and unorganized and private and the public sector thank you